Starting off in the number five spot of the best budget gaming speakers is the Mica PB42X, coming in at a price tag of $139.95. If you want to check out any of the five speakers in this video, there's Amazon links below for the US, UK, Canada, and international links. But let's jump into the Mica's sound quality. It is great here, as are all of the ones on the list. That's, well, why they're on the list. However, this has a brighter sound profile with very clear mids and trebles. Lower frequency or bass response is pretty good here, but if you want deeper, richer bass, the others on the list are better for that. While this will still be great for listening to music and playing games, having a nice bassy explosions in FPS games, this isn't quite the insane immersion that you get from some of the others. That being said, spatial awareness is absolutely fantastic and not only immerses you in the game, but gives you the advantage to find exactly where the enemy is coming from. Now, these are active speakers, meaning that you do not need your own amplifier. It has an integrated class D amplifier. That means this is completely plug and play, so if you have no real experience about, well, using speaker wire, even though it's really, really easy, basically you just take these out of the box, you plug everything in, and you plug it into your PC or TV. It's, it's very, very easy. Now, as for inputs, you either have RCA or a 3.5 millimeter cable, so that's really good, especially for PCs that do want to use that 3.5. Uh, just easy that you don't need a splitter there. Now, the build quality here is good, but it's just fairly bare bones-ish. A textured black kind of vinyl plasticky material is covering the entire speaker, with then a very average looking speaker cover. If you do choose to remove the speaker cover, it has a cool carbon fibery look, but overall it's pretty basic-y, honestly, and just looks fine. Now, for the controls and everything like that, you do have a volume knob on the rear of the right speaker, as well as either RCA inputs, or like I said, this has that 3.5 millimeter connection. Again, a massive pro. Overall, if what you want is an extremely clear, fairly small pair of speakers for an epic gaming setup, it's hard to go wrong with the Mica PB42Xs. But with that, let's move on to the number four spot, which is the Edifier R1280Ts, coming in at a price tag of $119.99. That is a good price for these speakers. Edifier's always done a great job in the value category, and these are no exception here. Let's talk about the sound quality. It is full and rich here. Bass is stronger with these R1280Ts, and the high frequency response is great as well, being bright, but not overdone and not too sharp. Great listening experience with music due to the stronger bass, especially for the size of these, which honestly, these are pretty small for the amount of, well, sound quality that they push out, especially the bass. A pretty nice small package that, well, if you don't have a lot of desk space, but you still want some really nice speakers, this could be some, definitely something to look into. Now, gaming with the edifiers is fantastic. Not only does it sound great, crisp with deep bass, but footsteps are easy to play spatially and the immersion is enhanced here, especially due to having that deeper, richer bass. While the deeper, richer bass isn't going to give you any really competitive advantage in games where hearing footsteps, that's definitely gonna be more of the higher frequency response, that deeper bass does immerse you a little bit more in the games. When an explosion goes off, if those are the kind of games you're playing, uh, you just feel it a little bit more, that deep bass just a little bit nicer. Overall, I'm really impressed with the sound quality for the size of these, as they are not super large, but it really packs a punch without breaking the bank or taking up too much space on the desk, which makes it, well, really good. I really like these. Now, as you would expect, these are active speakers with a built-in amplifier, so again, a very easy, just take it out of the box, plug and play setup. Now, for the outputs, it's just RCA, but it does include an RCA to 3.5, so basically the same as the previous speakers, but it is very nice that they do have that RCA to 3.5. Uh, that's just, well, easy for a setup. You don't have to get one more thing. Now, as for build quality, it is absolutely fantastic here. These are really good looking and very well built. They look incredibly cool with the faux wood on the sides, but it looks like legit wood from a distance, which well, they'll always be from a distance. These also have a nice silvery speaker grill that has nice accents, which is pretty nice to see at this price point as, well, most of them at this price point and even a little bit above are typically just very plain and these add some flair while not looking like childish. It looks very like clean. However, with these off, these look absolutely awesome. They definitely did the design of these speakers with the grill off really, really well. And I just prefer them this way for aesthetic reasons, well, primarily. Now for remotes and controls and things of that nature, this does come with a remote that has very basic functions like volume up, volume down, and then a mute, and that is it. So a very basic remote. However, the really nice thing is that these have treble, bass, and volume tuning knobs on the right-hand side, making it extremely convenient to tune the sound 
on the go. Fantastic for switching between gaming and listening to music. If that's what you're gonna be doing, it's really easy to, well, in game, you might wanna turn the bass up and then maybe you wanna equalize it a little bit better when listening to music. Very quick to just put your hand around there, tune the knobs, get right back into it. Really, really good quality of life thing. Overall, these are highly usable, inexpensive, great sounding speakers that pack a punch without compromising on a ton of desk space and they just look absolutely awesome. But with that, let's move on to the number three spot, which is the Numi BS5Ps, coming in at a price tag of $159.99. Now, these are larger speakers here and slightly more expensive, so the sound quality is increased a little bit here. This definitely enters into the more exceptional tier. Sound quality is fantastic with rich, deep bass, clear mids and trebles, and has very low harmonic distortion at higher volumes. So if you are someone who listens to your music very loud, but still wants to maintain the overall clarity of the music or the game, then these are definitely great. Complex music sounds incredibly good on these. Now, while these are larger bookshelf speakers, having them angled at you on your desk at these, well, lower volumes, because it's not quite as far away as they may traditionally be designed for, as well bookshelf speakers are supposed to maybe go next to your TV in your living room. These are gonna be much closer to you, so you will have them at lower volumes. But because of this, it gives you a truly exceptional listening experience, not to mention gaming. Gaming on these is absolutely amazing, especially in games that have really complex soundscapes. FPS games are incredibly easy to find enemies, footsteps and here directionally where gunfire footsteps or grenades are coming from. Well, grenades wouldn't, you probably wouldn't hear them coming, but you'd hear them explode. But the emotional side of gaming is where these definitely excel, giving you that feeling of immersion and realism. Now, as you would expect here, these are again, active speakers. So plug and play experience across the board. That being said, for the inputs, there's no three and a half millimeter auxiliary connection. It does go out of your RCA. So you will need to get a separate adapter if you do want to plug it in with that 3.5 millimeter cable, but I will also link one of those. It's like four bucks if you do want that. So that definitely shouldn't be a deal breaker because it's only four bucks for that RCA to 3.5 connection. No, build quality here is good, but kind of basic-y. There's a faux wood texture on most of the speaker with a sub and then a tweeter on the front with an indicator light. The mesh speaker grill looks very basic and the speaker without the speaker grill on still looks pretty basic. These are also significantly larger than the Edifier R1280Ts, so they will take up a little bit more space on your desk. Now for controls, this does come with a pretty good remote that you can use to switch inputs, pair Bluetooth, increase and decrease the volume, as well as play, pause, mute, rewind, fast forward tracks, all of the stuff that you need. There are also some controls on the back of the speaker for power, switching inputs, and volume. And like I mentioned, this doesn't have Bluetooth, so you can hook up your phone while these are not connected to maybe your PC or TV or whatever like that. So that's really cool. Overall, if you don't mind having larger bookshelf speakers on your desk and prioritize sound quality over looks, these are fantastic speakers. And if what you want is a great listening experience, these deliver. But with that, let's move on to the number two spot, which is the Clips Pro Media 2.1 system coming in at a price tag of $112. That is a very good price tag. Sound quality on the Clips Pro Media 2.1 system is truly the best bang for your buck audio system I think I have ever heard. That's a big statement but it's true. This system gives you a front firing separate dedicated subwoofer that is truly astonishing in how good the subwoofer is for the price. The two tweeters implement controls very, very well, but the sound quality is the surprising part sounding very clear making this a very especially good listening experience. While the tweeters don't have the absolute best high frequency response out there, they do extremely well and are still very, very clear. When you take that and then pair that with the subwoofer, which is incredibly powerful, then take into account the price tag, and these are basically unbeatable at the price. I mean, if you were to tell someone that these cost $112 and show them, give them the listening experience, I wish I could do that for you guys, but it is really exceptional. Music sounds absolutely fantastic due to having fantastic deep bass. However, it's while gaming where these really come alive and bring an intensity and immersive feeling that is honestly addicting. Games sound great. You can still hear footsteps and directional sound, but the bass is the thing that just rumbles the floor that just makes you feel like you're in the game that you're playing. One last thing to mention is that these get incredibly loud. So even as these were designed for your desk, uh, you can definitely use this in a small TV setup, like 100%. These get really ridiculously loud and the subwoofer is very powerful. Most of the time when I get 2.1 systems, especially budget 2.1 systems, I'm usually turning the subwoofer almost all the way up 
With these, it's like very loud when it's maybe a quarter of the way there. All the way up is just absolutely crazy. And in some games, it is very cool. It makes you feel like every time you shoot a gun or something like that, it just packs a punch. It's very cool. Now, as you'd expect, these are active speakers, so it's totally plug and play. You don't need to buy anything else, but well, the speakers themselves and you're good to go. You have a 3.5 millimeter input with two 3.5 millimeter outputs on the right speaker, which is cool. You can plug in like a headset there or whatever else you want. Build quality here was better than I expected. While nothing is special, they have attached metal stands for the tweeters, which are full metal, which was kind of surprising. And while nothing looks or feels incredibly premium, they also don't feel cheap and they're definitely not going to break. So that's really good. Now the controls here really make this great. These have an edge up, obviously, as they were definitely designed for your desk, but they have a subwoofer tuning knob on the right tweeter, along with the overall volume. This is great as I found myself constantly turning up or down the subwoofer, depending on the type of music, whether that was jazz or like your trap rap music. And while switching between those music types, I was constantly like, kind of turning up or down the subwoofer uh, because it's just so ridiculously powerful. Then hopping in games, I'm definitely turning that subwoofer up a lot more. So just the usability and quality of life with these speakers was just so thought out. It really just did seem like the engineers behind every part of these speakers just knew exactly how people were gonna use them and it works perfectly. Overall, these are the best budget gaming speakers out there under $200. They're functional, have a fantastic subwoofer, great controls, good high-end frequency response with the tweeters, and come in at a ridiculously good price, making these the easiest budget speakers to recommend. However, now you're thinking, well, what's in the number one spot then? Well, these are. The Clips R51Ms paired with the IEMA A08 Pro Amplifier. Coming in at a price tag of $159.99 and then $139.99 for the amplifier. So if your budget is a little bit higher than the rest in that $100 to $150 price range, if you're bumping it up to still budget speakers, but in that $250 to $300 price point, this is what I recommend. Now for the amplifier, I'm extremely impressed with the IEMA A08 Pro. You can definitely go with something cheaper like a Fozzie BT-20A, although I think pairing this with the IEMA is truly exceptional for the price and gives you a little bit more for only a little more money. Now, sound quality here is truly unmatched. These enter into an audiophile level of loudspeakers. Now, while you do need to get both the clip speakers as well as an amplifier to run these, since these are passive speakers, if you have a slightly higher budget, again, around $250, then these are unreal how good they are for both listening to music as well as gaming. Even though these don't have a dedicated subwoofer, the bass response is full and rich and just incredibly good. It's very punchy, so in games, uh, it does, it's not overbearing, uh, but the punch is just amazing. The trebles and high frequency response is truly exceptional here with every piece of music and detail being heard. It is a joy just to close your eyes and listen to music on your desk but gaming is where these absolutely come alive, which you really wouldn't expect because, well, I don't know how many people are using these clips for gaming, but they absolutely wreck. While gaming, you can hear things that you've literally never heard before. Subtle clicks from guns being shot in the game, explosions having more depth to them than you previously, well, knew was even there. Footsteps being heard more crisply with better direction. These are just really exceptionally good in that audiophile level of sound quality well, it should be more common with traditional gaming speakers. And you may have noticed nothing from like Razer or anything like that is on here because it didn't make the cut because they're not that good. Okay, now again, these are passive speakers. You have to get an amplifier to run these. Again, I recommend the Ayima A08 Pro, but if you're on a slightly tighter budget, you can definitely run these with a Fozzie BT-20As. However, the pro to this is not only are you getting a very high grade of loudspeakers, is that because these are passive, you can hook up as many speakers as you want. You can get a bigger amplifier and do surround sound if you want. And you can basically keep these loudspeakers as long as they last, which could be 15 or 20 years. I mean, that's what a huge benefit is to well, spending a little bit more money. Now, build quality here is awesome. Having a faux wood texture that actually looks quite real on the majority of the speaker. And then this classic clips copper metal look on the woofer and coppery hex screws, which just make this look absolutely amazing without the mesh grill on. I never put the mesh grill on these because they look so good. This makes your setup look a 
ton more expensive than these cost. Now, for the controls, obviously, well, these are passive speakers, so there's no controls on the speakers themselves. However, on the IEMA amplifier, you have bass and treble tuning knobs, which is really good, as well as a volume, which if turned all the way down, clicks and turns off the amplifier, which is really easy. This also has a VU meter, which is something typically only found on more expensive full-size amplifiers. And to top it off, this also has Bluetooth, so you can hook these up to your phone. And although this will be compressed audio, you can play music wirelessly, so that's awesome. And obviously, these speakers paired with the amplifier have the power to push out a ton of sound, so if you do have a lot of friends over and you're jamming out to music, well, there's plenty of power there. Now with this amplifier though, you will need an RCA to 3.5 millimeter auxiliary cable if you do wanna connect it in that fashion. So I'll also link that below. Again, it's only like four bucks. Overall, if you have a budget around the $250 to $300 price range and you want some beautiful audiophile speakers that perform well with the entire frequency response range to give you a truly exceptional listening experience in both games and complex music, with the ability to add as many speakers or subwoofers as you want, since these are passive speakers, the Clips R51Ms are the best you can get. Again, if you want to check out any of the five speakers in this video, there's Amazon links below for the US, UK, Canada, and international links. But this was Consumer Tech Review, and I'll see you guys in the next video.